All right, friends, uh, welcome back to Escuela. Uh, we are just doing a YouTube video to kind of share with students, um, particularly students that haven't been in band, um, how to take these musictheory.net quizzes and to um, uh, get yourself some feedback from um, your teacher. Uh, so I'm kind of sharing a Google Classroom here. It's called Fake Class. It's got a picture of our most popular virus. Um, and this is an assignment that you've seen shared or a similar assignment to what you've seen shared in your classroom, whether it's strings, choir, um, or band, or maybe percussion. Uh, most of the band students know how to do this because they've been doing um, this for several years now. Uh, we've been calling them 60 second challenges, but um, these won't all be 60 seconds. I'm gonna show you a really short one. I'm gonna show you how to take the test and then how to upload the data that, you know, like, hey, how did you do? So that um, if you'd like feedback from your teacher, we can reach out to you and say, hey, maybe if you try this or practice this, or have you thought about that, okay? So I'm gonna take this treble clef exercise. You take whatever you want, treble clef or bass clef. I mean, it should kind of coordinate with obviously your instrument. Um, so here we go, treble clef should automatically open up musictheory.net. This is a custom challenge that we've made for you. You just start the challenge. Some of them are timed, some of them are not. You'll see this one is timed. This one in particular, I have one minute to complete. I'm just gonna click on the note name. I do have a lot of practice doing this, so I might be a little faster than you. All you need to remember is the raw score. It is reminded of you in various uh, parts of the Google form of the Google classroom assignment kind of information we want you to just remember that you got five we don't care about hundred percent we want to know that you got five okay here's where it gets tricky you're gonna view the report you're gonna sign your initials okay sign the report and then the last part that's important is you're gonna copy the code just click copy code boom that takes this really long code and puts it into your clipboard, okay? You go back to your class. Hopefully, it's not called fake class. Um, and then attached to your assignment, there are these links for the actual exercise. And then attached in the Google assignment is your music theory feedback. You click on it. Mine's called Parker's. I would assume Mr. Flemmer's is called Mr. Flemmer's and Mr. Elliott's Mr. Elliott's. I'm going to put in my information. Let the teacher know what class period I'm in. It just helps them kind of know, uh, sort out like where everybody is. Then the verification code. You guys are super smart. You know that control V is paste. You could also use right click, um, but you guys know the control V hotkeys. I'm, I'm almost sure of it. How many questions did I get? Remember, I had to remember that raw score. I got a five. Bam. And do I practice this in between tests? No. That's because I have a master's degree awesome okay click submit all done I've done it okay that's all that we are asking students to do um, when these theory challenges are, are brought up they're not always going to be note reading um, they're going to evolve and um, we're not grading them of course but we want you to participate just as a way to check in with your teacher and also maybe to just kind of get something uh, you know uh, academic from your music practice because a lot of this academic stuff is kind of hidden in our lessons and our rehearsals um, but we don't get to have those in the traditional sense right now so anyways that's how you take the music theory challenges and that's how you post and um, we really hope that you guys are doing okay at home and uh, if you're in band reach out to me if you're choir guitar or uh, orchestra reach out to your respective teachers because uh, we really want to be here to, to hear you and, and to know that you're doing okay. So I hope you enjoyed it and maybe there will be some future recordings soon. Take care guys. Bye.